Yo, what up? Comic Kid 84 with an unboxing video. And my friends, in this box are some CGC books that I purchased. And uh, I got a grail in here, y'all. There are bees of grail in this box. So, pumped to open it up. I just got home from work. I'm mad tired, um, but I figured let me get this on wax, let me opening up some hot grail action, and maybe you guys will enjoy and get a kick out of this video. So, without more, you know, mucking about, let me open this thing. <sighs> Dude, I've been wanting this book for a minute. I'm almost kind of scared to open it. To be honest with you, I'm just like, I'm just like afraid that, I don't know, something's going to be wrong with it or something. Because the last CGC book that I bought off eBay arrived with a crack in it. I don't know if I showed that on camera. I think I did. That bondage cover slab showed up cracked and if any of these books are cracked dude I'm gonna be one sad comic head all right we have what appears to be pretty nice shipping I made a point to tell dude I was like hey the last purchase I made the slab was cracked during the shipping process I think so can you please do me a favor and reinforce this as best you can. Plenty of cardboard and bubble wrap, please. Um, because this, in this box, this purchase is the most dough I've ever dropped on comics. On a comic. I mean, it's, it's not a single comic, it's four of them. I got four CGC slabs. And, uh, yeah, I made that request. So, let me get this bubble wrap off, yeah? Like so. They're all in their own individual thingamabobs. I mean, I feel like I gotta peek into them first, because I, I would like to open them in a certain sequential order. Uh, I'm not gonna do this. this oh wow so in the little bubble envelope thing is another package one of these my boy tighten this up so he's good that's what I asked him to do so I appreciate that. Damn. Um, maybe I'll fast forward through some of this part. Okay. For your viewing pleasure, that part was fast forwarded through because I don't think you want to see me wrestle with these packages uh, for five minutes. So first up, we have we have Fantastic Four number 45 at a 4.0 off white pages. 1965. I've always really liked that cover. This was when uh, 
Sue Storm still had that that Molly Wops looking hairdo. Uh, but I really like the way that Reed looks on it. Uh, first appearance of the Inhumans. Bang. Happy to own this book. I know the Inhumans, a lot of Inhuman keys have dropped in pr uh, price recently because of the failure of that show. So, I don't think that book goes for a ton, but I'm happy to own it. And it was a great, it was, it was included in the lot, so I couldn't turn it down, you know? Um, next up, y'all. This is This is Let me get it off the plastic I think Where was this thing? I think Did you see it yet? Let's see Cause we got Right here A book that I'm Pretty pumped To own God dang This thing is tough to open Oh my god. Dude. You need to seal the flaps of the bag. Now I'm going to rip this bag. Oh man. I don't have patience for this. Oh my god. Ugh. That's alright. I got extra CGC poly bags. I'm just going to cut that mug open. And reveal... Oh boy, that's some heavy duty. Uh, what do you call it? FF50 player. Uh. And I don't know if it shows up on camera, but ooh boy, that's some heavy. Uh, what's the, that rainbow stuff? I can't think of the name for it, but that rainbow stuff is all over it, which is a little disappointing. This is the lowest grade of the bunch, 3.0. You know, the book's a little a little smacked up, but dang. One of the most epic Silver Surfer covers. Part of, you know, the finale of the maybe the most epic trilogy in comics, I'd say. And we got FF50. There are two more. Now, nah, main. So, that means the next one, the next book I have to unveil for you, my friends. Oh, baby. I mean, honestly, this is really like a momentous occasion in my collecting. No joke. Oh, no. This bag is going to get ripped, too. No, I got it. My friends, what I have here to show you FF forty nine, y'all. Hot diggity dog. I gotta look at this. FF forty nine. Four point oh cream to off white pages. It's a four row that presents pretty good I mean the spine is a little jacked I think that's where most of the grade depreciation is happening I mean there is some of that marble chipping at the top um, give you a little closer look if you can examine a little bit you know um, but god dang perhaps the most iconic Galactus and Silver Surfer cover in history um, man I've been wanting this book for a long time first full appearance of Galactus second appearance of Silver Surfer that just sounds good rolling off the tongue you know what I mean Whew, bang because as you know if you know person watching this video if you've watched any of my other videos you know that you know what I'm saying I got my boy my boy Silver Surfer 
and honestly, my real boy, Galactus. Uh, he's tattooed, right? I just love Galactus. Uh, they are probably my favorite Marvel characters. Um, and there's just, there's a book that's just been my grail for a long time, man. Ever since I got back into collecting, there was this one book. I was like, yo. When I first started getting back into the hobby, I was like, there were certain books that I'm like, dude, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to drop that kind of dough on a book. Or I'm not, I don't know where I'm going to find that. Da da da. Because you see some of these prices. I'm like, not going to do it. But I found me a good deal. Oh, yeah, this bag's getting hard too. I'll put a fresh one on it. I found me a good deal for this this group of four books and I was like you know what my funds were in order to make it happen please don't let there be too much of that rainbow stuff on it oh, not even a drop baby not even a drop my friends I present to you the first appearance of the Silver Surfer and Galactus. FF48, y'all. Oh, baby. A momentous occasion in Comic Heads collecting. I got it. My grail. My number one grail. My number one, like, realistic grail has been FF48 um, and when and honestly when the Fox deal that little Fox movie deal got closed like last week and it got me nervous man I was like you know what with my luck they're gonna close this Fox shit and I don't know there's gonna be some Avengers Endgame tease of Surfer or Galactus or something I'm like, this book has been climbing for a long time, and I don't want it to climb any more out of my reach because these are books that I really wanted. And, uh, bang. I gotta give a thank you to JD, JD Comics, man. Um, cause I, you know, I, my financials were right, and I knew that I wanted to finally pull the trigger on it. So I was really, I was actively looking for this book, just this book. Um, came across a guy at a shop at a local consignment shop that I go to and sure enough he had one uh, he's like my buddy has one and uh, he brought it to show me we were talking you know so I had I had a couple options of which way I was going to go with it you know and it was supposed like a higher grade book so anyway I got some really useful advice from JD uh, it put things in perspective for me and I opted instead of dishing out, you know, the money on a higher grade FF48 that, you know, I came across this deal with the trilogy, man. The trilogy at 4.0. 3.0 have been the lowest I, I would really would have wanted for this. Uh, I was looking for somewhere between like a 3 and a 5 realistically for this book really both of them so man when I saw these at 4.0 along with number 50 50 was at a 3.0 50 I definitely respect 50 I, I wanted 50 it's great to have the trilogy slabbed um, it was a little lower 3.0 and I could see that it was you know like this one, I gotta say, it doesn't present all that great because of a lot of the stuff going on on the book um, and that that rainbow stuff. I can't. I know the word. I can't believe it's not. I can't spit it out. Someone tell me in the comments what that's called, please. Um, the slab rainbow effect. I totally know it, but I can't think of it. Um, but that's cool. You know, this book is not super unattainable. I'm just glad it's not on this one. And 
shit, as far as I'm concerned, as a great bonus book, <laughs> that's the way I was looking at it, uh, was FF45. Um, first appearance of, in, of Inhumans. Even though that show was a flop, I think it's going to be money in the bank. Um, I'm just happy to collect the books all around this era. <sighs> um, yeah, man. So, your boy has reached a real pinnacle in the collection. Get ready to see these books lurking somewhere, probably in all my videos. I'm going to be so gassed to be like, bow, bow, bow. Uh, I feel like I'm just kind of babbling at this point. I don't really know what to say. I think I'm just kind of thrown off by the fact that I'm holding these two books in my hands right now. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. Your boy, Comic Head, Grails Accomplished. Basically, two grails uh, accomplished in one swoop. It's really awesome. Uh, I know people. I agree that this is the better Silver Surfer Galactus cover, technically, um, but this is the more iconic cover. I love this cover. I think it's so iconic. The Watcher announcing Galactus. Anyway, babbling again. I'm pumped. So, bang, bang. Grails achieved. I guess next. I don't know, I guess I gotta make a new uh, a new grail list. I mean, there's definitely still some books on your boy's hit list, but these are pretty much at the top, man. So, bow. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys around later. All right? I can't do my peace thing. Peace!